Hello everyone, welcome in Cool ID Help. In this video tutorial session, we are going to export a executable jar from Maven based JavaFX project. As you can see on my screen, this is Eclipse IDE and I have the same project which I have used in my previous video tutorial session and the video link given in the description box in which I have described how to create a Maven based JavaFX project in Eclipse IDE. So guys I would suggest you to watch that video first. Now I will show you how to create a executable jar. So guys this is the Maven based JavaFX project right here in the Eclipse IDE and uh, there are some certain steps that I have noted down in this MS Word. I will explain you everything in detail step by step. Let's get started. So here we go. You can see I have expanded that project tree here in this project explorer tab and now you can see we have all those files which usually find inside a FXML based project. One controller file, one start file, the CSS and the FXML. In this project I am going to use Java 8 and you can see JavaFX SDK also there and this is our pom.xml as you can see right now I have not added anything right here in this pom.xml this is default file which has been created by this uh, Eclipse IDE at the time of creation this project so the first thing you have to add this one the packaging tag so in the packaging tag we have to specify that we want a jar file so we have to add one tag right here at line number six you can see I have added this one this is packaging after that you will see there's a build tag and uh, it has some sub tags inside now the specific thing that we have to add we have to add one plugin node in which we have to specify that suppose if you have a dependencies for the other jars and you want to bundle all them into a one executable jar in that case we have to use this plugin this is most useful thing and now this is the complete node of the plugin and the same information given in the uh, notepad and uh, the download link is given in the description box and first I will add this node right here in this plugins tag okay then I will explain everything right here now you can see this is called Maven assembly plugin which can be used to bundle all your dependencies into a single jar and now one more important thing that we have to do right here between this plugin tag this is the configuration for the archive and uh, which is going to be a executable jar so as you know every executable jar has one manifest file in the manifest file we have to provide the main class file name so in this tag we have to give the main class of your project so we have to provide the fully classified class name with package right now you can see the demo uh, in this project we have the main file inside this application package so we have to specify like this application dot main if you have a different package hierarchy so you have to use all the package name with dot like com dot my company dot something dot main class name but in my case I have only single package and then we have the class so I have just used application dot main I hope this is clear to you so I have just given the name of the main class simple and this is done the most important thing we have completed now you can see further we have one more plugin so I will explain the use of this plugin as well so I am providing you some additional information 
why we have this plugin here in the pom.xml so guys as you can see on the right hand side in the ms word this is called the maven compiler plugin and why we are using we are telling to the maven that we need to compile with a particular java version otherwise this will compile your source code with the default java version so now we want that our source code should be compiled with java 8 that's why we have given the version 1.8 and the target is 1.8 The purpose only is there. We have to just tell the Maven that please use the compiler that we want. So we want Java 8. So we have just specified explicitly right here. That's it. Okay guys, now moving further, the next important thing that we have to use or that we have to perform to produce the executable jar which is very simple now we have to go inside the Eclipse and we have to press some buttons now select the project do a right click and go here at run as now click on this option maven build but the just you just click on maven build now this edit configuration and launch window will appear in front of you so here we have to do a very small thing now look at the field goals at this place you have to type this simple thing assembly colon single that's it only this thing we have to specify right here click on this apply button and now just click right here on this run button and the process will start and uh, you can just look at the console some activity is going on when you expand it you will see that uh, the processing is going on and uh, project uh, build in process and finally you will get this message build success that means your build completion is done now the jar has been created in the projects target folder now we have to look for the target folder so do the right click on the project and go to the properties and in this properties window there's a shortcut icon just click on it and this will take you there uh, to the project location now go inside and you will see the target folder now right here you can find the executable jar that is just produced by the maven okay guys so this is ready now we will test it so do a double click to run it okay guys this is asking to choose that because we have two kind of uh, JDK platform right here on this machine that's why this is asking so I have selected the Java S yes. and uh, you can see the stage is launched but uh, don't worry about that the stage is blank because um, our fxml has nothing on it that's why this is showing us a blank stage so if you want to edit or if you want to add something right here so you need to open this thing this fxml in a scene builder then you can add some controls on it text field check field or um, text area labels boxes lot of things and this will be visible on your javafx stage so guys this is the complete process to produce a executable jar from javafx maven based project i hope you guys found this video tutorial relevant and useful please like this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel and for now thanks for watching cool it help